All right, Natalie, thank you. And as Hurricane Ian winds down to a tropical storm, the hurricane left a devastation in many areas in the southwest part of Florida. That's right. Many relief teams have gone down to Florida to help with the damage and destruction from right here in the Ozarks. Color Tim's Joshua Panetta caught up with one local organization just before they hit the road to leave to provide some of that relief. Josh, can you tell us what you learned from those crews? Well, Jesse, last night, I, yesterday, I caught up with Co Convoy of Hope just before they left Missouri to head down to Florida, where two million people lost power. I spoke with Stacy Lamb, who is the senior director of U.S. Disaster Services, about what Convoy of Hope will do once they arrive in Florida. Massive amount of flooding from the storm surge. The wind's going to cause all kinds of issues like power outages and those type of things. And so when that happens, you've got infrastructure uh, uh, affected. Um, people can't go to the grocery stores. The gas stations are closed. So we come in with those needed supplies, you know, in the immediate aftermath of a storm like that, like food, water, hygiene kits, baby supplies, and then cleaning supplies and all those type of things that people are going to need after a storm like this. Areas like Fort Myers, Sarasota, Naples, and places along the southwest coast of Florida faced a storm surge of up to 12 feet of water. Many people's homes were destroyed, cars and boats gone, and winds so strong that over 2 million people are without power. Stacy said they would most likely set up camp in the Fort Myers area and then proceed with helping out with relief efforts. Stacy said they could be in Florida for up to several weeks. The response team left yesterday around 1 p.m., and Stacy said that workers around the country will be in Florida helping out. We've been talking to partners, church partners, and other partners that we have on the ground uh, for several days up and down the coast, um, kind of based on where the forecast has been. And uh, so we've got lots of folks ready, uh, re ready, willing, and able to help convoy once we get on the ground. Coming up later in the show, hear from one man who just arrived from Puerto Rico after helping out with hurricane relief efforts there and is now on his way to Florida to do the exact same thing. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First.